Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at things you can do to make After Effects run faster. One of my main issues when I was starting out with After Effects was how incredibly slow it was. I didn't necessarily have the best computer at the time, but it was just horrible. And although in my experience the problem of slow After Effects never completely goes away, there are things you can do to help. If you're working on a PC, make sure you update your drivers, especially the graphics card one. Make sure you close everything else, it will make a massive difference. Also, close all the panels that you don't use because they also take up some of your CPU power. As you know, After Effects has loads of panels, so make sure you only keep the ones you're actually using. Increase the allocated RAM. You can do that by going into Preferences and then selecting Memory. You can see there that you've got RAM reserved for other applications. You can increase that, but make sure you remember to put it back when you finish, as not doing that will slow down your other software. If possible, make sure your cache files are on an SSD and increase the maximum folder size. Remember to also clean them every now and then, as when it gets full, After Effects slows down quite a bit. If you're working on a project with lots of videos which may have different frame rates, make sure you change them. You can do that by right-clicking on your videos, Interpret Footage, Main. Under the frame rate, you want to conform to the frame rate of your composition. The reason for that is that having different frame rates, After Effects basically has to do the maths in the background each time when you play this, to convert them to the frame rates of your composition, and that will really slow down your computer. You can also lower your preview quality, but do keep in mind that effects will look a bit different when you do this. After Effects also has an option of fast previews, so you could lower that to a fast draft if you wanted something to preview quickly. It will not look at all like your final project, but it really depends on what you're trying to see when you're previewing. If you've got motion blur applied, make sure you turn that off when previewing. If you have layers with effects that you don't need for the preview, make sure you turn those off as well. Another thing that I like to do is solo my layers. So for example, if I've got a layer that I need to see in reference with another layer, I can just choose those two layers and only preview them. Or if I'm working on a layer and I'm applying a lot of transformations, I don't really need to see the rest of the composition, I'm only interested in that layer. So the solo layer button will definitely help with this. Another trick is to export parts of your composition that you finished with as separate videos. Then you can import those into After Effects and replace the loads of layers that you had with a single video. Make sure you simplify your project as much as possible. Delete layers that you don't use, uh, trim layers that have gone off screen, because After Effects still uses power to process those. They still remain in the background if you don't trim them accordingly. Another thing that helped me a lot was to turn off my sound when I'm previewing. I've noticed that having sound on slows down my computer incredibly. Based on the type of project that you're working, you'll see that certain tricks apply to you and it's best to know them all so that you know what to apply and when. If you ever feel frustrated, just remember that regardless of everything, we can still do stuff that 50 years ago would have been literally impossible. I always think of it as, if anything, After Effects has taught me patience. So good luck with your projects, and if you have other tricks, please share them with me as well.